Hi guys, welcome to Mama Goals. Happy New Year. This is our first official video for 2020. And I just wanted to thank everyone for watching my videos. And to my 16 subscribers, thank you guys so much. I appreciate the love and support. And if you want to see how this mama welcomes the new year, then stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Today is New Year's Eve, but by the time I edit this video and upload it, it's going to be sometime in the first or second week of January. So Happy New Year to you guys. I just wanted to show you guys that the two fairy came to visit Jaden last night. And as you can see, I had to think of a way on how the tooth fairy can come because Jaden was trying to stay up so he can see her. And you know, the tooth fairy needs her sleep too. Okay, so now we're gonna start off by decluttering all the areas of the home that need to be organized because we wanna welcome the new year with a clean home. It's been such a long time. Look, you guys, I even have diapers. That's how long it's been since the last time that I cleaned this area out. I don't know if you do this to moms, but every time I clean, I take a little bit longer because I start going through things like, look at this, this is so cute. These were drawings that my kids gave their little elf last month. And even my three-year-old made them a little something. So cute, these are keepsake items. Okay, so next, I'm um, just gonna change the batteries on things that need to be changed and here I have an electric sharpener. I'm gonna be sharpening pencils and I'm also organizing this homework caddy because I am tired of them saying they can never find a pencil or an eraser so everything's here organized and I even have one for my three-year-old daughter. And in her pencil box, she has everything that she needs except for her scissors because she's already cut her hair twice. Okay, so this is the homework drawer. I have her folder and some sticker books. Now I'm gonna give everything a quick wipe and I have this area that I still need to file but I can do that later. And this is just kind of like an office drawer where I keep some office supplies envelopes, tape, and stuff like that. And here I have my mini vacuum with an extension cord and some tools. And this is the homework drawer. I did add some Play-Doh because I need Sophie to entertain herself while I do homework with the boys. Now for a special breakfast for New Year's Eve, I'm making Minnie Mouse waffles. And I'm just using Krusty's buttermilk waffle recipe that's on the side of the box. And I am so excited because I just got this Minnie Mouse waffle maker from Santa. So I'm gonna give it a try and I think the kids are really gonna like it. Not only do these waffles look so cute, but they're very fast to make. I really like that it's a non-stick pan. I didn't know until I read the instructions. And you can make six at once. So I have an announcement for my subscribers. First of all, I just wanna say thank you so much for being part of Mama Goals. And I do wanna start adding positive quotes so if you're a subscriber and you have a quote that you want to share and you want me to announce it on my videos, please make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm at mamagoals123. And make sure you DM me with your info. Okay, so for today's quote is, if you're a mom, you're a superhero, period. Oh, Angie, I love this one. Yes. I really like this one because as a mom, we take on so many things. I don't even know how we do it. 
So hell yeah, we're superheroes. Uh, comment down below, let me know what you think. Okay, so I made 12 waffles in no time. I really like that. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I like to add sprinkles to my yogurt. It just adds color, it makes it fun, and the kids absolutely love it. Now for dinner, I'm gonna be making prime rib. This is a special cut of meat that I only make on special occasions because it's a little bit pricey. I recommend for you to buy a boneless roast, but have your butcher tie the bone back on. And for this, I'm only gonna use three simple seasonings. What I always use is kosher salt, garlic salt, and Montreal seasoning. But first, make sure you pat dry the roast. You wanna make sure that you cover the roast after seasoning it and let it sit for two or three hours outside of the refrigerator. And now I'm gonna be cleaning this area with Get Clean Germ Off by Shackley. This is a natural disinfecting wipe. It's non-toxic and I'm currently in the process of switching all of my cleaners to a green clean home. And I'm gonna be making a separate video talking about the cleaners that we use at home because they're full of toxic chemicals and gases. So I wanna make sure that you guys are informed since we're all moms. Okay, so next I am going to be covering these peppers and I'm just gonna roast them. I'm gonna be cutting my vegetables and prepping everything for tonight. I'm also gonna be doing some prep for my tamale party that I'm having tomorrow with the family. So I'm gonna be using my Instapot and I'm gonna be adding a huge chuck roast, garlic, onion, and I'm just going to boil that for about two hours until the meat is tender because I need to make shredded beef. I'm just gonna devein these guajillo chiles and here is my peppers, they're nice and roasted. I'm gonna be making a pasta sauce with this. So I'm just gonna devein them, clean them out a little bit, and I'm gonna throw them in the blender with sour cream and chicken bouillon, you guys. That's how simple this sauce is, and it's delicious. Okay, and for my pasta, I'm gonna be using bow tie pasta. Um, I think I just really like the, the texture of it. And I always read the instructions because it tells you exactly how long you should cook it for. And then you wanna just cold shock it when it's done with some cold water so it stops the cooking. Now I've already had my roast in a 500 degree oven for 30 minutes and I'm just gonna check the temperature really quick. Then you wanna lower the temperature to 325 degrees and add about 20 minutes per pound. Okay, so for this you want to just you could use one or two bell peppers I love the flavor uh, when I have two and then just add maybe like a 16 ounce Sour cream container. I just have a big one here and to go with this Prime rib. I'm gonna be making Horseradish cream. So it's just sour cream and a little bit of your horseradish. Just mix that up Cover it and put it in your fridge to let it set for a little bit. All right, you guys, so it's been two hours later, and look at this. It looks amazing. Okay, so look at this beauty, like this. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. This looks so good. All the edges are nice and crisp, and the temperature is at 135. I'm just, I have to take a picture, you guys. It looks amazing. Okay, so um, take it out at 135 when your thermometer hits 135 or 130, you wanna take it out, cover it, and let it sit for another 30 minutes. No, actually, I think I did it for 20. And it's just gonna cook a little bit more as it's sitting, because it's still so hot. So it's gonna bump up that uh, thermometer to 140 to 145, and that will be the perfect roast. So with that, I'm just gonna add some garlic bread. I'm gonna throw it in the oven, and I'm just gonna 
cover my cutting board with some foil because this does release some juices. You guys, I never thought I would be making anything like this because it's so intimidating. This is an expensive cut of meat and if you mess it up, it's gonna be really sad. But really, it only looks intimidating, it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna let my husband do the honors because this is his favorite dinner. And look at that, you guys, perfection. Okay, so here I've already plated everything. I have a little bit of horseradish, and oh my gosh, I have to have some of that crusty edge. Mmm, delicious. Okay, and to end our night, we had to have dessert, so I'm just making giant chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, and that's it with a glass of milk. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Till next time and Happy New Year.